Hello, my name is Ed Hipkins. I'm a sound designer and composer working with computer games um, based in Bristol. And I've been doing quite a lot of work with Ardman over the last um, year or so. And I thought I would just go over one of the things I've done in FMOD um, to create a dynamic um, generative voice uh, for one of the characters. So within the game, they wanted something that was going to burble away in the background um, pretty much the whole time you're in the um, scene. Um, so so it needed to have dialogue that was non-intrusive, um, but also um, didn't repeat too much. Um, it also needed to change emotional states. This was a big part of the brief, um, depending on how you interacted with the character. And this is how I did that. So I used a number of different um, techniques. So the scatter instrument was um, sort of pivotal to this. Um, scatter instruments, for those who don't know, um, randomly select um, one of the sounds you put within the um, scatter instrument. So you can see this has got a bunch of sounds. Uh, they are mainly um, syllables. Okay, so the what, how I wanted to generate the language was to have lots of little bits, which then get put together randomly by the instrument um, uh, as the um, as the you know uh, o o over time. So as opposed to kind of recording forty, fifty different words or phrases, um, and then having them selected at different times, I wanted it to be randomly generated. Um, to give it a slightly more natural feel. So let's just have a quick listen to it and see how it sounds. <laughs> let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> so you can hear there's lots of gaps in this sort of panic, worry, um, emotion, um, which were, took a little bit of thinking about how to get that in there because you can add random amounts of silence, but I didn't want the syllables to be broken out with random silence. So first of all, I recorded a bunch of syllables, which sounded kind of like this. Um, which are randomly selected, so there's a 2% chance that it'll select one of those syllables. Okay, and those syllables don't have a gap at the end of them, or particularly, particularly big gap at the end of them, um, and they get put together to make words, effectively. So what happens that if you don't put gaps, put silence in between those syllables, then they become a little bit too garbled and there's a, a little bit too full on. So the other thing I introduced was three different lengths of silence. Uh, and then the great thing about these scatter instruments is you can send, assign a percentage to, to how much you want those to be selected. So the one silence was 0 0.125 seconds, uh, and that's just to break up the syllables into words. The next one, a half second, was to break up the words into sentences. And then the, the last one, one and a half seconds, was to break up those words into paragraphs. I also wanted it to be fairly broken out, um, spread out. So you kind of go along with some random syllables and then you they get broken up um, with the syntax silences. And then you uh, want to have a bit of a pause so it's not going on the whole time. So you have a breath. And then it'll start again. Okay. So it might be that you get a few of these different breaths going, these different panic gaps um, going in a row, which is fine. Let's just hear how that sounds all going together. <laughs> now, I've got various problems with the way that's, that's, that's turned out, but in terms of the way that it dynamically creates the um, the words and then the gaps, I think that works pretty well. So let's go on to the logic now. So we want to then that to change emotion depending on what you do to it. Um, so you're going along here with the emotion dial at zero. And then as you turn up the emotion dial, it changes, it skips between all these different emotional states. So let's have a look and see how that works. So we're at worry. 
And then these panic, uh, sorry, these panic regions, these um, logic regions here, these transition regions here, it just says you have to go to the next marker. So you put your marker where you want it to go, unease. Um, and if the, sorry, let's go to unease. If the marker is between 0.11 and 0.2, if this parameter is there, then it'll skip to that next section. And if it then goes back to the worry, so you can see that worry is, it should be here somewhere. So there's worry. Obviously you don't want the worry over the worry section. So then it goes back to it. Then you can, so you can change between all the different states. So that then goes up to work to unease to leaping around, letting these um, parameters go. And then you might go up to normal. So the only slight difference between here and here is that um, in normal, it's asking you little questions as opposed to having worried breaths in. And also I've put some more uh, some more sorry syllables together to make words. So it sounds a little bit more comprehensive. So this is good because it says a few things and then it has a little make, asks a little question huh? um, which makes it sound like it's interacting with you so in terms of emoting with the character you wanted a way we wanted a way of it being you being feeling like you're having an interaction with it so those questions came in really really useful okay and then we can go to uh... <laughs> And then all the way up to attentive. And then the only other thing that we wanted it to do was that if you do something right, we wanted a positive interjection to happen. So all the way along the top of the logic, you can see this positive interjection, which is you know between 0.6 and 0.7. It goes over to here. So you'd hear a, um, so let's put it up to 0.5 something that you're doing right so it doesn't matter where you are in the emotional state this one takes over um, and takes you to that positive interjection and similarly with the negative interjection uh, if you do something wrong it takes you all the way over here and um, hey. does a negative interjection and then these little signposts here can then take you back to whichever state the game designer feels you should be in due to your positive or negative interaction so it might be you go up a level or you go down a level depending on whether you do something right and that's pretty much how it works. All these scatter instruments generate the language and then the logic takes you in between all those different emotional states um, depending on where the programmer feels you should be. Um, great, if I've missed anything out, sorry about that, um, please ask me any questions you have down below. I'd be very, very happy to answer any of your questions. If you like this video or found it useful, um, let me know. Um, also subscribe because I will be doing some more of these. Um, thanks very much for your time and take care. All right, bye.